Suppose if you want to make use of buffering data provider kind of data type variable in your visual builder application to create an editable table, here is a quick update on the same. Oracle has introduced a buffering data type over here under the component data type providers. Earlier to 2024, we, we didn't have this buffering data provider kind of data type available in this drop down. So right now, if you see, we are seeing this buffering data provider. In our earlier videos, which we have shot a couple of months back, in which we have manually tried to create this buffering data type that is by going to this application level and we had created this type that is OGS slash OG buffering data provider. So you don't have to create the type and then the variable on top of that type. So Oracle will create a data type for you that is the buffering data type and it will be available over here in the drop down to select. So you can straight away go to create the variables, provide the name and select the buffering data provider as the data type for your variable. Then rest of the things, whatever you see, like the data provider, you can populate based on the SDP, ADP and coming to the page over here, all the functionalities will work the same. So you can watch our earlier classes, like how you can delete a, a row in an editable table, how you can modify any record in the editable table, all those operations will work as is like how we have explained in our earlier classes. Only thing what you have to avoid is that is manually creating the type. Suppose if you go to this application and click on the types, it will already be having this OGS, OJ buffering data provider. So by looking at this, you can just avoid and directly go to the variables tab in the page application or flow level and straight away you can go and create the variable of type buffering data provider. Suppose if you are wondering, like I'm showing this existing application, what if we create a new application? I will demonstrate that as well. I will create a fresh application over here with the name test 101. Click on finish. Let me just create a web app over here. Click on create. So as soon as I create a web application, let me go to this application over here. Click on the types. As of now, you're seeing nothing over here. As soon as I go to this main start, I'll click on the variables and click on plus variable over here and create one variable of type percent BDP and from the type over here I will select buffering data provider click on create so here if you see all the things will be available like the data provider options and so forth things and now suppose if I go to this web application so Oracle will automatically add this type that is OGS OJ buffering data provider which in our previous classes had manually added so you can directly concentrate on creating a variable rather than on creating a type for BDP so in order to learn completely how you can create a editable table based on the buffering data provider and how you can add the functionalities that is to edit a previous record or add a new record like here if I'm suppose adding a new record, I'm deleting that record. All those concepts you can learn from our previous classes which will hold true now as well.